Indian gooseberries. Not to be confused with Barbados gooseberries, Cape gooseberries, Chinese gooseberries, also known as kiwi fruit, Jamaican gooseberries, Tahitian or star gooseberries. The true Indian gooseberry, also known as amla, is considered a wonderberry in the treatment and prevention of cancer, according to a recent review in the European Journal of Cancer Prevention. Arguably the most important medicinal plant in Ayurvedic medicine, and also used in traditional Chinese and Thai medicine, preclinical studies have evidently shown that amla possesses anti-fever properties, anti-pain, anti-cough, anti-artery clogging, anti-stress, heart protective, stomach protective, anti-anemia, anti-cholesterol, wound healing, anti-diarrheal, anti-artery clogging, didn't they already say that, as well as protecting the liver, kidneys, and nerves. It can also evidently be used as a snake venom neutralizer, as well as a hair tonic. It's like the kitchen sink of berry medicine. Starting 10 years ago, studies started coming out showing that amla extracts kill cancer cells in a petri dish. But lots of things kill cancer cells. You could pee in a test tube and kill cancer cells. What you want is something that kills cancer cells but leaves normal cells alone. And it wasn't until recently that this was demonstrated with amla. They tested Indian gooseberries against six human cancer cell lines, lung cancer, liver cancer, cervical cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and colon cancer. This is a graph of cell growth, cancer cell growth, at different amla concentrations. Here's human breast, liver, and lung cancer cells starting out, powering away at 100% growth. As you drip more amla on, the cancer cell growth rates cut in half and then stop completely, and then amla starts killing the cancer off. The, the growth goes negative. By the end, more than half the cancer cells are dead. Here's cervical, ovarian, and colorectal, right? just decimated by Indian gooseberries. And here's the normal cell line, the non-cancerous cells. Right? At the highest amla levels, that which killed off more than three-quarters of the cancer cells, normal cells just seem to get their growth rates slowed down a bit.